Okay, we're back for the draft itself now. Um, gonna fill our queue with bots and get started. Okay, so we're gonna see what we have here. Um, and I mentioned this last video, never take the land. Um, you get land after the draft, so you don't have to worry about land. You just don't worry about all your non-land cards. Just scroll down and usually start with the rarest cards and work my way back. Um, Overwhelming Stampede is a really nice card because it's basically a way you can win the game. As if you see, this will give our guys a uh, trample and make them a lot bigger. Yes, plus X plus X, or X is the greatest. Power among creatures you control. So let's say if I controlled like a 1-1, one, one, a 2-3, and a 4-4, four, four, all my creatures would get plus 4, plus 4, and trample, meaning they would assign or any extra damage that does the kill blockers goes to the defending players. So it's pretty much, if we have like maybe three or four creatures in play and we drop this we probably win the game so this is a really good card we're definitely gonna uh, think about that taking that um this is a pretty decent pack really uh howling banshee is pretty good uh three three fire four mana it's pretty efficient both players lose three lives it's kind of a double-edged sword here um another card i really like is air servant uh basically wins the flying battle has four power for five mana. It's pretty good as well. Garuk's pack leader, also a good card. Uh, four four for three, and or sorry, four four for five. When you play a creature power three, ready you draw a card, and it's hard to draw cards in green. Chandra's outrage is good. It deals four damage to a creature for four mana, and it deals two damage to that opponent. So pretty much all five of those cards we could pick here. Um, up here, not, nothing too exciting. Sylvan Ranger is okay, but I wouldn't take it first. That helps you fix your mana, so does Cultivate. There's a lot of good green cards in this pack. And a lot of times, I would say, like you want to think about what you're passing your opponents to. So if we pass them four green cards when we take Overwhelming Stampede, that might make our opponent, the people down to our left. And I waited too long to make the pick. So I talked a little too much, and it took the Air Servant for us. So we took the Air Servant. Normally I would have taken the Overwhelming Stampede. Shows me what I know for talking too long. Um, okay. Uh, we have an Air Servant, which is, I think, the second best card in the pack. Uh, it's 4-3, four, 5-4. Four. Okay, so we passed all those green cards. So our opponents are probably going to be fighting over green, so we don't want to take any more green cards. I think I'm just going to take another Air Servant here. Two Air Servants actually really powerful. I'm quite happy to have two air servants. Um, other good cards in this pack are probably uh, Child of Night and Greater Basilisk. Not bad, but again, it's green. Sylvan Ranger passing a lot of green. It's good. Hopefully, we can get locked into blue. Blue's my favorite color in this set anyway. So, another air servant. Um, okay. So, we have two big blue flying creatures. So, we're probably playing more slower controlling deck now. You got past the Llanowar Elves and a Grooks Companion, so the green is still coming. So I'm going to keep shipping that green downstream to our opponents. And then in pack two, when we're passing the opposite direction, hopefully they'll reward us and take all the green cards and pass us stuff that we want. So other than the Llanowar Elf, Diabolic Tutor is okay. You can search for any card you want. If you have a really awesome card in your deck, it's a good card to play. Um, I see two powerful white cards here, Blinding Mage and Stormfront Pegasus. Um, can't really go too wrong here. Blue-white's always a good combination. It's one of my favorites in Construct that End and Draft. Um, I think I'm going to take Blinding Mage, though, because what Blinding Mage does is it taps opponent's creatures, which is a more slow defensive thing. It kind of works well with the Air Server, which also can tap opponent's creatures. As opposed to Stormfront Pegasus is more of an aggressive beatdown creature, and it looks like we're going to be playing a slower... Uh, slower kind of deck, so I'm going to take Blinding Mage here. What do we get here? Yavimaya Worm. Wow. Green definitely. We would have had a good green deck if I had taken the Stampede. But. Um, that's alright. Yeah, if you take more than two minutes, it randomly picks a card for you. We're actually really lucky we even got the Air Servant. We could have gotten a land or something. Then I would have had to cancel the video and start over. Um, Okay, I'll open the draft table, just for the heck of it, you don't really need it. We're down here. I have a minute and a half left to make this pick. Um, Infantry Veteran is a good aggressive white card, but like I said, we're playing a more defensive deck, so 
Then you just take this uh, mana leak. It's a good counter spell. Let's say counter target spell unless it's controller pace three. Pretty much countering any spell they play in the first like five turns or so. Um, diminish is okay. Makes something a one one till end of turn. But unfortunately, it just makes their base stats one one. So if you make this two two a one one and then they give it giant growth or something, it's still a four four. So it's not the best thing ever. I'll take this mana leak. And pass the giant spider. Ooh, water servant. Um, <clears throat> white doesn't look to be happening right now. Looks like blue. Uh, this water servant's a solid card. A three, four. Four mana. We can play with its power and toughness and pay a blue to give it plus one, minus one, or minus one, plus one. So, that's pretty much the pick here. I like Prodigal Pyromancer, but we haven't seen any indication that we should be playing red. Um, Giant Spider is a good card, 2-4 flying, or 2-4 reach, it can give green away to block flying, which is kind of hard to do, so. We take this Water Servant. So now we have 2-2 two, two, two drops, a 4 drop, and a 2-5 drops, so keep that in mind here. We're looking at, which is garbage, really. Um, I don't really know what to take here. Elixir of Immortality is kind of a card that people get trapped into thinking is good. I mean, you gain 5 life, but that's it. <laughs> might not be the worst in a controlling deck, though. Actually, might even take it. We don't really need the Stone Golem. Air Servant is a heck of a lot better. Phantom Beast, I really don't like. I don't. If it becomes targeted by anything, you just end up sacrificing it. Um, let's take Silvercoat Lion. It's 2-2 two, two for 2. It's okay. It sits there. It does its job. Um, here we have Inspired Charge, which is more good in an aggressive deck. Mighty Elite might be good in our deck. Plus 2, plus 2, and Flying Instant. It's kind of a combat trick. They like the blocker 3-3 three, three with my 4-4, four, four, and then you make your guy bigger. It's help you give a guy flying in the game. We can also give something flying and tap it with our Air Servant because Air Servant can tap creatures with flying, so we could actually use this on an opponent's creature and then tap it if we had to, so not necessarily the best play, but could come through. Okay, um, we have Palace Guard and Harbor Serpent in our colors. Harbor Serpent's a huge 5-5 uh, five, five for 6, but um, can't attack unless there's 5 or more islands in play. <coughs> not the worst thing, but not something I'm real excited about. It's good against other blue players for sure because of the island walk. Sorcerer Strongbox. If we weren't playing blue, I would probably take, but blue has lots of ways to draw cards, and I'm sure we'll get a 4C or Jason's Ingenuity or something of that nature. Um, Palace Guard is a good ground ground blocker. Good block any number of creatures on the ground. I think that's what I'm going to take here. Uh, so we have a lot of flying control with our air servants. So yeah, I'll go with Palace Guard. Uh, nothing really good here. Um, we're getting into the this pick nine now. This is our starting pack. Uh, we're getting to point now where there's really not going to be a lot of good cards left. <coughs> um, we'll grab Tireless Missionaries. Not good, but it's in our colors. It gains life. And there's nothing for us here, literally. Um, we grab Goblin Tunneler. It doesn't really matter at this point. I do want to make sure I pass this green card. Uh, another missionaries. Running Legion is not really a bad card, by the way. I mean, it's a four-five for five. It, it enters tapped, so not good the first turn. But uh, fine, I'll take Phantom Beast. Be that way. Rip this naturalize from somebody. And we got three tireless missionaries. Hopefully, we won't need to play them. And there's that insight I talked about in last video. Uh, it's like always picked last. It's horrible. 